Hello, welcome to another Quadro NVF video, and I want to talk about the camera that I will be using for now on if it pays for itself. Uh, right now, I'm using a Kodak Easy Share uh, Z5010. Uh, the camera I was using before is this GE camera. And as you can see, it's pretty basic point and shoot. It's got, I think, 3x zoom and uh, maybe 5x digital and one thing about this camera waiting for it to clear up there one thing about this camera right here that I'm using right now is that it auto focuses it has a hard time trying to auto focus in dark areas of course but uh this is not auto focusing right now but in a well-lit room, it autofocuses like a dream. The lens are in here are, uh, if I can't really pronounce it correctly, uh, it is a Schneider something, some kind of German name. I'll probably throw the name down there in the description or in the video. And these lenses are really high quality. There are companies who make very high quality lenses for cameras like these and more. Um, they don't make Nikon lens, but they do make sort of fixed lens uh, for cameras. This camera right here has a 2.5 or a 1.5 or something like that inch screen. Uh, it takes beautiful pictures, but uh, when it comes to video, this camera just right here can't do it. The camera I'm using right now, I wish it was a little better at handling uh, a video situation, but in terms of video recording, the quality is where I've been trying to get a camera for. Um, this camera actually costs $84. This is a $199 camera. Somebody was having a fire sale on them, and he didn't expect to sell them that quickly. So I sent the seller a message. I said, is this camera going to still be the same price because I can't buy it today? got to buy it later on. He said, yeah, as long as I have it in stock, it'll be the same price. He lied through his teeth, and uh, I saw that the camera was on sale. He had it kind of uh, at the eBay sale. And when I saw that it was going to not be on sale anymore, uh, I brought it in panic. I said, oh, snap this really is like a fire sale and then I brought it and two hours later when the sale was over the camera was still eighty four dollars but two days later the day I was really supposed to buy it the camera was not uh, posted anymore uh, he had sold he sells like twenty of them in a day and I'm just glad I got the camera uh, so this camera will no longer be used right here and I'm on YouTube right now but as you can see I can zoom in over here and it should clear up like I said the autofocus is not fast but it doesn't really matter to me because I'm not shooting a movie and as you can see it just autofocuses really well now uh, when you're in a dark area it may take longer to autofocus or it may not autofocus and I really do want to have it at the point where I can manual focus it but uh, for now we're just going to keep it at auto you saw the uh, test video I had already put up and uh, this camera does shoot very very good video the pictures on here are uh, more than what I can compensate for and the reason why I got this camera is <laughs> um, I needed better video plus my video editing software wasn't working hard enough I've got six processing cores in my machine and I know it can handle more than some 2-bit 640 p uh, 640 by 480p video so uh, this will be my new camera. You should see a lot less shaky uh, shake in this camera, like I'm shaking it right now, and it sort of compensates for that with the anti anti uh, shake or whatever you call it stabilization technology. Uh, just zooming in on random things here, because with a normal camera, this will get blurry. And it is sunny outside right now, I just don't have my curtains open. So, uh, yeah, that's enough of me talking about this camera. Um, I will actually throw some pictures in the uh, end of this video and just throw all the specs at the end. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching. Any questions on this camera, uh, leave them below, and I will catch you guys in the next video. The Kodak Easy Share Z50. 10. What to say about this $84 beast? Well, it looks beautiful. It's a beautiful camera. And besides it being beautiful, it does take beautiful pictures. If you didn't see that video test I put up in the picture test, go check that out on my channel. It's about three videos behind. 
Uh, there's a lot of uh, chrome accents on this camera. Uh, this camera is a 21x zoom camera with a 14 megapixel sensor, or to be exact, a 14.5 megapixel sensor. And it takes stunning stills, stunning video. The audio is clear, the uh, video is crystal clear, the autofocus is spot on. Kodak really did a good job on this budget camera. And what I mean budget, it does something a 300 camera should, $300 camera should be doing. You have lots of options on here. Like I said, the Chrome will drive you nuts. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful camera. You have pop-up flash, and uh, anybody who's looking to own a camera like this, remember to let the flash come up when you uh, half shutter the camera. So half shutter will allow the flash to come up. This is all handled by the Borigon Schneider lens, or Schneider Borigon to be exact. These are 525 by 525 lens, which is your 35 millimeter equivalent beautiful camera. I, I think it's probably the best 85 bucks I've ever spent in a while. So, this is the Kodak uh, EasyShare Z5010.